Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. Now I want to do a video on the most important electrolyte. Now let me explain what electrolyte is. If you ever take salt and put it in water and dissolve it, it disassociates. The sodium and chloride disconnect um, and they become two separate minerals, okay? And that fluid is very electrically conductive. So basically electrolytes have to do with minerals that help conduct electricity in the body. So they help with a lot of different things. And so as far as electrolytes, it would be like potassium, sodium, magnesium, calcium, chlorides, all those minerals. Okay. Now, potassium out of all of the electrolytes is the one that we need in very large quantities. And I was curious, why is that? Why do we need potassium in such large amounts? I'm talking 4,700 milligrams to 6,000 milligrams every single day. That's equivalent to seven to 10 plus cups of salad or vegetable every single day. That's a lot. That's odd to me. And no one consumes that much. But let's, let's go dig further on exactly why we need potassium. There's something in the body called the sodium potassium pump, okay? And it's built in a little protein connected to an enzyme. It forms a whole enzyme on the surface of your cells. And you have between 800,000 to 30 million of these little tiny pumps. And they're little generators that generate electricity to allow things to go through the cell. So they take a lot of energy to, to work. In fact, one third of all the food that you eat the energy of one third of your diet goes to running those pumps. Okay. You also have another pump in the stomach called the hydrogen potassium ATP ACE. Don't worry about the name, but it's basically another uh, a pump that's built with potassium that allows you to create stomach acid to help you digest. These pumps also are in the muscles. They're in the nervous system and the pumps in the nervous system, use about 60% of your body's caloric intake of energy. So in other words, these pumps are really critically important in exchanging nutrition, glucose, amino acids, and other minerals to allow them to transport in and out of the cell. So potassium is essential for building the pumps to allow these functions right here. They charge the cell electrically, so your cells have certain voltage that allows things to work and go in and out of the cell and create different energy. In fact, your energy that you have that controls your metabolism is controlled partly by this little pump. So it charges the cell electrically. It gives you energy. It helps the muscles contract and relax because it allows calcium to go into the cell as well. So it controls the transport of calcium. Wow. Interesting. So if you're low on something in this pump and these pumps aren't working, your calcium is not going to relax the muscle. So you'll get muscle cramps. Okay. From potassium, but it's really calcium, but we can't fix it by giving you calcium. We have to give you potassium. I'll get more into that. So the muscle needs, uh, this pump, the nerves to conduct electricity need this pump desperately. Um, and fluid, the transport of fluid, the hydration of your body is controlled by this pump um, and your overall physical energy. Okay. Now, since potassium is so hard to get in the diet because people don't realize how much they need and they're not eating enough vegetables, you can experience a set of symptoms that I'm going to describe to you. And you might have some of these. Number one, fatigue. Fatigue can come from a potassium deficiency because if you're not enough, if you don't have enough potassium, your cells electrically are going to be way, way, way down there. You can't pump anymore. And that's why when people start eating more potassium foods, they have more energy. The problem is if you try to take a potassium pill, it only is comprising about 40 milligrams, maybe 90 milligrams. You need 4,700 milligrams. So you'd have to have a whole bottle. The pills are not going to work. And plus, if you took that much potassium without the other minerals, you can throw it out of balance. So you want to get your potassium from food or food concentrates. So then we have, um, we have energy fatigue. We have muscle fatigue. So if you go up a flight of stairs and you feel like your legs are really heavy or you don't have the endurance, 
that is a potassium deficiency. Nerve, if the nerve is tired, your electrical impulses won't work. So you have arrhythmias, you'll have um, an alteration in heartbeat problems, skip beats, atrial fib, that's an electrolyte deficiency, okay? Fluid, fluid retention, swollen ankles, that's a potassium deficiency. What do doctors do? They tell you to avoid salt. Big mistake, they need to, you should increase potassium, okay? And then overall, just energy in the cell to work correctly, okay? Now in the stomach, if you don't have enough potassium, you can't create the acid that you need to help digest protein and absorb other minerals. So again, the, stom the potassium is needed for the stomach, the nerves, the muscles, for energy, for fluid, for hydration, all these things, okay? So now that you know that, let's talk about how you become deficient. Number one reason is you don't have enough potassium in the diet. You need to consume seven to 10 cups of vegetable or salad a day to achieve this. Now, I, I enhance this with food concentrates a lot of times if I can't get the quantity. And I use my wheatgrass juice powder, I take a teaspoon of that, and that will give me a blend of a lot of potassium and magnesium and a lot of other things to be able to spike um, that sodium potassium pump to boost my energy as well. Vomiting, diarrhea will also create a deficiency. Surgery. When you get a surgery, what happens is your potassium just dumps because of the stress. And that's why they always give you a potassium IV because to replenish that potassium. Stress will also uh, decrease potassium. So in, um, let me just grab this book right here. My favorite uh, SIBA encyclopedia for endocrinology. Um, we got right here, adrenal stress right here creates potassium loss. So it's stress creates a loss of potassium through the urine, okay? So sugar creates a deficiency of potassium. Why? Because insulin is the hormone that helps you absorb nutrients, right? Now it also causes everything to go in the fat, and if you have a problem with insulin, like insulin resistance, you can't pull glucose into the cell, and that's why you're craving sweets, by the way. But see, what insulin does, it's, it only is, it acts as a trigger for the sodium potassium pump to trigger the absorption of nutrients. So that doesn't get triggered, so you can't absorb things. So by taking more potassium, you can actually decrease the need for insulin. And that's what I recommend for my diabetics. It's very difficult to fix diabetes without enough potassium, okay, without enough vegetable. So if you have a lot of sugar, that'll deplete potassium. If you take potassium, it'll help with cravings and decrease your need for insulin. Diuretics, like, like blood pressure. If you're low in potassium, your blood pressure will go up. And you also have problems with uh, calcium not moving in the correct places. So that's why the doctors give you a diuretic to get rid of fluid, and they give you a calcium channel blocker for high blood pressure, but they don't recommend potassium, enough potassium. There's so many people that consume enough potassium and their blood pressure comes down. So diuretics will deplete your potassium. So to get rid of electrolytes, your blood pressure stays high. Um, salt, so sodium, potassium, they always work in a balance. It's, the reason I'm not talking about salt is that your body will tend to conserve salt more than potassium, and also people, it's have a lot of extra salt in their diet. Like naturally, they just eat more salt than potassium, so they're rarely uh, deficient in salt, okay? So salt, too much salt can deplete potassium. Alcohol will deplete potassium. And the last one is ketogenic diets, which is interesting. So you go on a higher fat, low carb diet, what happens, you will deplete potassium. Thus, the reason why I tell you to consume more vegetable when you do a high uh, pro or high up fat diet so you can replenish the potassium and feel fine because a lot of times you'll dump a lot of water from losing a lot of fat as well when you're burning fat or you might feel fatigued or you might feel kind of like constipated by adding more potassium from the vegetable it's not the fiber it's potassium in that food that will help flesh you out and keep the liver clean and help these pumps work a lot better so I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of the most important electrolyte, what it does in your body, okay, that's what electrolytes do, and then also how you become deficient and what you need to do to correct this, okay? Hope this helped, and I will see you in the next video.